Now you know what Martin Bacali did to Jared Anderson. And I found out about this during the live stream. And I was really taken aback. I didn't really know how to feel because, you know, <clears throat> anytime you're accused of this type of stuff, it makes you think of the specifics, what really happened. The subject that is at hand is very tough, touchy. It's a touchy subject, very sensitive subject. And, um, you know, it's probably the worst possible thing that you could ever be accused of. And the whole idea was this article that you guys that we just seen at the beginning of this video. This is the article that I that was sent to me. And it made me it, it was full of emotion, you know, because it's it's like um, the SEX harassment, you know, you know what I mean? Because when you're accused of something like that, it's it's a hell of a thing to be uh, to get in or to be a victim. But it's another thing to be an accused because it, it, it kind of works both ways. Like when you if you get accused of something like that. And you didn't do it. You're still associated with it. So that alone is by far already a tough thing. Let alone if you get convicted. Because if you get convicted of something like that, that's a totally different issue. And in that case, you know, you are um, at the full extent of the law and all judgment from other people. But then here's the thing. How was Martin Bacali, how was he able to leave Scotland if it was unresolved issues of something this drastic? That's my only thing. That That's what I look at and I'm thinking, I'm really puzzled and I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it because it's like, okay, well, if this was unresolved, how the hell is he able to travel? How is he able to get a passport? If something like that happens, if you're accused of a situation could, uh, in, in involving content, brother, you're not supposed to go anywhere. You're not supposed to go anywhere. You should surrender your passport. There shouldn't have been a, been a Jared Anderson fight on the table anyway. Now, again, being accused is just as worse because if you didn't do it, you're, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it, it's still touchy. You know what I mean? You're still associated with it. So it's shitty all the way through, but that's my only question. You know, um, I hope this gets resolved because the last thing, if anybody should want is something hanging over your head like that. You know what I mean? So to me, obviously, it wasn't as bad as people think it is. You know, I do recall in the live stream, which I will go live in about an hour, you know, discussing all of this, you know, reflections of last night, of course. And uh, Dillian White and him had a altercation at a foot no, at, a, at a at a boxing event. And Dillian White called him a PDF file. Right. And, you know, and you could see that Martin McCauley wanted to fight right then and there. Now it makes sense seeing stuff like this come about, you know, comes knocking on your 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 tell your telephone screen. You know, you get this source and you're like, OK, that's what Dylan White was talking about. Something that had that happened. And if it's unresolved, how the hell do you get it resolved? What was the particulars? Because, you know. You don't want to judge anybody, but at the same time, you want to know like, OK, what's going on in this situation? You know what I mean? What is this really about? We need the particulars to know how we should feel about this shit. OK, because, this, you know, yeah, he destroyed Jared Anderson. But then again, you know, you don't really want to be parading around someone that's involved in shit like that either. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know, naturally people were rooting for Jared Anderson to win. But I mean, he just destroyed Jared Anderson. So it's like, OK, so how do we really feel about this dude? You know, that's the question. You guys tell me what you think about this article. The one that I saw watching Bacali destroy Anderson last night. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.
Peace.